uh, the most logical Allah Arabic Quran, Allah Aramaic Gospel, Allah Torah Hebrew. Okay, GP, I'm going to block you. I want you to call me and show me Allah in all those books. Is that fair, guys? I want you to show me Allah in the Aramaic. I want you to show me Allah in the Hebrew. I want you to show me Allah in the Greek. If you cannot, I have to call you son of Muta. So are you going to call me or not? Because as long as you are saying Allah is there, then it is there. You, we open and we read. Can you? Huh? And you know, by the way, the name of Allah is not a problem. Let us say for the sake of argument, uh, 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 let us say the God of Islam, his name is Elohim, not even Allah. Still your God is not our God. Our God is a spirit, is your God is not. Very simple. Our heaven is the same heaven. Your heaven is a heaven of a pimp. Our heaven, there's no sex. There's no food. There's no gold and silver. So if we have the same God, should we have the same heaven? Your heaven is the heaven of prostitution and slavery. 80,000 little boys will be in the heaven supposedly serving you in the bed. That is evil. Jesus came to free us, not to enslave us. So even your heaven is a heaven of slavery. So when you talk about the name of God, who cares about what God you Call him Rama. Change your name of your God. Actually, your God, Allah, have 99 names. Then we start reading them with all of him. Al-Muqit. Al-Muntaqim. There's a, <clears throat> the, you know guys, you know Father Zachariah, the Coptic uh, priest? This guy is very funny, I like him. He challenged the Muslim to show him the 99 names of Allah. He, he made a serious challenge for them. The Muslim, they accept the challenge. They came, they came and they says, maybe we can find 60. <laughs> All those years for 14 centuries, they count 99 names. This guy, he challenged them. Okay, show us the 99 names from the Quran. Go ahead. They could not find them. They said we can find 60, 65, 70. So why you say 99? Where did the 99 come from? You know? <clears throat> Yeah, you know, I mean, and they are upset from him because he's a priest, you know. Uh, actually, this is how a priest should be. This is how a real priest should be. Not the one who says, we worship the same God. You know, those are not priests. Those are satanic priests. True priests say the truth, as it is. <clears throat> uh, okay, Job... Why you don't call me and let us read together the word Allah in Deuteronomy 32, 15? Do you dare? Let us see where's the word Allah. <laughs> Potato, as long as you are sure, why you don't call me and I will make you read it and we will laugh at you. I guarantee you that you do not know even how to read it. However, in front of everybody, are you willing to call me and read it and make victory for Allah? Can you? I will put it even in the screen for you. And not only that, we will play audio from the Jewish Orthodox website to see if Allah is there. Is that fair, guys? Coward? Petito! Potato, we need to find Allah <laughs> in Hebrew. <laughs> you know, I, I found a video of Muslims saying, you know, Jesus says, Allah, Allah, lima sabaktani, Abdul, he did not say Allah, he said, Eli, 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 Il, Il, Il. It's not even the name of God, you stupid. Il is a word mean God. Potato. <clears throat> Did you finish translation for the Quran? No, I did not. It's taking me time because I stopped with the word testicle. 
you know, when you see someone like Ibn Battuta, and he is a, the biggest Islamic historian, he went to an island. I don't know, it was in the Philippines, my friend. <laughs> he found an island, have only women, and they have three boobs. <laughs> You know, once, once a, uh, a Muslim teacher, he says, you know, those historians, the kuffar, they know nothing. We are the first people who discover a lot of things in the world. So I said, sir, like what? Like who? He said, Ibn Battuta. I said, are you? <laughs> I said, okay, is that the same guy who discovered that there's an island full of women have three boobs? <laughs> So I'm going to die one day laughing at this stupid religion. He's so proud and so sure. And, uh, you know, yeah, Ibn Battuta. Yeah, I mean, this is true. There's an island somewhere. And the funny, he says to me, and what is the proof you have that it is not a true uh, GP? I feel that he is really in pain. Truly, truly in pain. Always Muslims, there are people who focus in silly stuff, trying to find a solution. We show them the stupidity of the Quran. We show them that their God do not know which one he created first. We show them the end story, which he took from the Jews, from, from, from the legion of the Jews. The Muslims are busy to find Muhammad and Isaiah. And they are trying to find Allah in the Old Testament. That's it. If we, we are, if we can find Allah in the Old Testament, we solve the problem. <laughs> and sadly, they cannot find Allah in the Old Testament. But anyway, it's good to try. <clears throat> Do we have any Muslim want to say anything? Am Tishhad Masari? Ah, Shahad ibn Shahad, Ya Rasul al Arabi. Guys, look at this. Uh, look at this guy. He said, uh, "Who deleted him? You guys deleted him before." Uh, he said, uh, are you begging for money? I did not. Actually, the, uh, I have a guy just called me. He's an ex-Muslim from Jordan. He says, I want to donate to you. What I said to him, guys? What I said to him? I said, no, please don't. Did I say that? You are my witness. Life on air. He said, I want to give 10% of my income as a donation to you. I said, no. Give it to someone as a, as a poor. But look what your prophet, he says. Your prophet, he says, you cannot meet with Muhammad unless you pay him. I am here for how many hours? I'm a person who have degrees. I can make a lot of money from the degrees I own. I do not need to be here. I don't charge people for what I do. Your prophet says, you cannot meet with me unless you pay me. This is your filthy prophet. You cannot meet with Muhammad. Why? Because he is doing a business. Let us see what is the verse. Hold on. Uh -huh. And not only that, if you pay Muhammad, he will forgive your sin. Or Allah will forgive your sin. Here we go. This is your religion. Do you see it? This is your prophet. If you want to consult with the messenger of Allah in private, spend something. I'm not calling Mossad. Well, this is a proof that you are a potato and you know what will happen if you call me. You know, we are not against you to say to us what you want. We want to hear you, but you are a potato. We want to show everybody that what you are saying is absolutely false. <clears throat> 
Okay, I have an offer for you, JP. What about you call me for five minutes? Just five minutes. I'm not going to do anything. Is that fair, guys? Five minutes. Me and you, we will have an easy conversation. You read for me the verses you are posting. And let us see if this is something wrong. You are literally suffering from something. I think you are a girl, aren't you? The one who keep harassing me always? GP? <laughs> Horny girl. <coughs> we Muslim girls are very decent. We just harass Christian Prince. We want to talk to him. Mm. Yeah. So what the verse with the with the Thessaloniki? The verse here confirmed that Muhammad is a fraud. It says that the Jews they killed Jesus. It says even they killed the Lord the Messiah, Yeshua. <sighs> Soroyo, the Soroyo Aramaic language, the grape, the Huri is a, a grape. Well, I don't know. Maybe this is a theory. I'm not sure if it's true or not, but it's impossible because we know that the Quran was never actually in Arabic. It was a mix of Aramaic. So it's possible, right? But not for me, it's not for my benefit to say that the virgins are a grape. Let you know, debate the Muslims by what they believe. Don't waste your time. You know what I mean? So let us say you are doing like a, a, a high class uh, education, then you can go to that level, say, this is the origin of the world. It doesn't mean what they say. But when we debate Muslims, for us, we should debate them by what they believe. You know what I mean? Not, not by a scholar in language says, well, the word version mean great. Because the Muslim will say no. So for me, I focus on what they believe. So they can suffer from it. <clears throat> so are you happy, GP? The Jews, they killed Jesus. You remind me of Mimi. Hijab, when he asked uh, uh, Rahman uh, Borat, he said to him, uh, he, he said to him, well, I believe they killed him, yes, and they buried him too. <laughs> Request for theme, El Mashi, El Mashi, El Mashi, El Mashi, Mashi, based on Islam versus Islam ideology, my friend, I do not understand what you are saying. I apologize. You know, uh, uh, I want to ask Indonesian people why none of you, uh, especially those who live in the West, I don't want anyone to be in trouble, those who live in Indonesia. Like you send email, they will find your IP, etc. Be careful. Uh, uh, you can use a proxy or VPN or whatever, and, but I, I better if somebody who live abroad, contact the Ustaz and tell them why there's nobody debating Christian press. Why nobody is coming to refute him? Do you know how many Muslims live in Islam every day? <clears throat> it is not a it's not a he, it's a girl. It's a girl. You know, even when the Muslim they go and seek an help from an atheist trying to disapprove the Bible. But that will not help them anyway, because all, even those who they are against the Bible, they agree that all the Christian and the, the church father, they believe that Jesus, he taught that he's God. Like when they brought this guy and he said, yes, Jesus, he taught and he thought that he is the son of God. He did not only say that the church father, they taught that. Jesus himself, he taught that, which means he confirmed what the scripture is saying, that this is what the faith was based on, and nothing changed. For me, Muslims are poor people trying to find, trying to find their profit anywhere. 
You see, when your prophet is a whore, then you have to seek honor to the whore. You will not find a Christian trying to attach Jesus to somebody else. We do not need anyone to give him honor. <clears throat> he is enough to give honor to himself. The Father glorified the Son, and the Son glorified the Father. Muhammad, he had even no father. He was born four years after his father. We do not know he's a bastard. Muhammad, he is a son of a pagan family, and the Muslims just called me today, and he agreed his prophet was a pagan for 40 years. Muhammad is a child molester, a criminal, liar, thief, and as you see, he will not even meet you unless you pay him. And look here, when a Muslim, he says that the muta in Islam is forbidden. Well, first of all, why we have muta anyway? I mean, this is, this is another form of prostitution. A Muslim woman, she offer herself, and then they call it marriage. So what Islam does, they cover up prostitution, give it a title of marriage. You go and you rent a woman for a day or two or two hours. And by the way, a muta is the biggest, one of the biggest business in Iran. A lot of women who cannot afford making a living, uh, prostitution is haram, brother, but they can do muta. But this is prostitution. She offered herself to a guy to stay with her for 10 hours. According to Iranian government, this is not prostitution. This is muta. Muta means sexual pleasure. You see how awkward? So in, in Thailand, women, they do it. People don't look down at them. They have different culture, different belief. In Islam, muta is prostitution, but they give it title of marriage. Everything in Islam is awkward, is upside down. It's uh, uh, stealing is haram. It's it's uh, it's forbidden in Islam to steal. But if you steal from the Muslim, it's okay. <laughs> there is a website. Let me see if I can find it. They are, they were asking. <coughs> they were asking. Is it okay to steal electricity from the government or from the company so we can heat water and do a pollution? He said, yeah. <laughs> he said, because the purpose is halal. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. This was many years ago I saw it. Trying to find to remember the title. So it is halal as long because the purpose of your stealing the the electricity, because brother, you want to do evolution. Oh, come on, all right. Let us see if I can find it. Yeah, I need to remember the title exactly. Yeah, anyway, the answer was, yeah, it's okay, you know. Because supposedly the target is halal. So if you steal from Christians, the target is to make the Christian poor, poorer, and this they are the enemies, so it's halal. Uh, I don't know, I think because now I'm going to leave, lose some students, and people will join the, the, the classroom of that guy. You know, I mean, I, I, I don't know, I, I noticed that after I play those videos, I lose a lot of students. Look at those, look at this. This is a classroom. Not me, I got this guy GP and you know, come on. Those are the ones you want to associate yourself with. This is halal. This is halal. Here, you open a classroom like this. You serve Allah. You eat nice food and you watch zebra. Look at this. All my life, I like to watch zebra. 
I mean, it's my favorite zebra, actually. I mean, animal is a zebra. <laughs> what is that? Just to stop, stop. That, that's it, that's it. Okay, don't go down. Don't go down, don't go up. That's it. And look how many iPad you have in front of them. And look, the, those iPad, each one of them, how, how much expensive. Look how big they are. I mean, this guy, he got the biggest size of iPad. I mean, to buy a little tiny one, it's close to like, I don't know, how much? $500? The small iPad? Do you see how big the iPad in front of him? All of this from the Muslim Indonesian <laughs> to do dawah. He's doing dawah. And trust me, a lot of people watch his programs in Turkey. Praising Allah. Alhamdulillah. Aman Rabbi Aman. Yeah. <clears throat> you have us. Hey, what I would do with you? You have us. You give me a break. Hey, look at this. Of us, yeah, right. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Us, <laughs> forget about us. Look at this. You know, each one of them is a, like with a, like, what the heck is that? I better stop this. I have to delete the video. I mean, this became so crazy. That's it. Like, what, what is, is it the zebra show? Like, there's no other, no, no one else want to dance. That's it. We are stuck with the zebra. Okay, I'm from ever. Uh, I came uh, like to be exist. I've been in many schools before, and all the teachers are boring. Okay, I mean I don't know. I mean, uh, just face it. Uh, at least here the program is uh, first is very helpful, you know, and it's going to clean your eyes. L this is the introduction. Look at his introduction and look at my introduction. I mean, come on. In my introduction, I have Mimi Hijab, I have Zakir Naik, I have, uh, uh, I mean, poor me. Poor me. My classroom for four or five hours. I see nothing but dudes. Look who called me and look who called him. And look, look, hold on. This is the end of the video. Let me zoom in in the end of the video. This is her. And this is the word Allah. Now, I don't know Turkish. <clears throat> Allah V Rasuli Rasulun. <clears throat> I lost my voice. <clears throat> By the way, I lost my voice not because I was supporting her. No, 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 no. no. <clears throat> because I was supporting my eyes only, not my voice. Uh, Allah V Rasuli V Develekan Zakatakan Zakatakutuko Takatuti. Yeah. Uh huh. And uh, she is, look, version. I mean, match Allah verse from the Quran, her face next to it. I mean, what do you want more? <clears throat> Should I add this to my introduction? I think that will bring me way more Muslims. You know, the Muslims they see uh, they see this introduction, man, they will stuck here. They will not leave. Oh boy. And what this guy is doing not only girls we have we have we have boys too look what the heck look what what's happening look 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 okay uh, 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 guys i just found uh, uh, Guys are dancing, but the guy, the teacher, is not there. Like the, the teacher, he attend only when the girls are dancing. <laughs> good teacher, good teacher. Man, I will lose my voice for the coming week. No, I have to delete this video. I mean, this is this is horrible. <laughs> Look at this. Brothers and sisters, this one is so good to the point I have to confirm my age. <laughs> I mean, do you see how much they sent? This is a class about Islam. I have to confirm my age. So what's going on behind that? You think about it. <laughs> 
No, look at those people. Look at the chat. No screen. No screen. No screen. The people like no. You see now the screen became important. Before who care? I bet you that those are saying no screen. They are the boys. No screen. Where's the screen? We can't see. What happened? Screen. But screen. Who's me? Screen. Hold on. Take it easy, man. Okay. Take it easy. <laughs> Sign to confirm your <laughs> age. I'm going where exactly? <laughs> Why I need to confirm my age? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> now people are going crazy with my comments. You know, like where is the screen? What is the <sighs> brothers and sisters? I have to delete this video. That's it. I mean, this is this is garbage, really. This is messed up. <laughs> you know what? I'm thinking. I'm thinking to download this introduction and use it for my own introduction as a start you know that will bring more muslims look at this introduction look at reality here you know yeah this is the same uh, nine hundred thousand you know oh boy look now we have uh-huh uh -huh. yeah okay okay uh-huh I mean, I'm getting closer to, to understand the situation. Yeah, okay, okay. Oh, my eyes hurt. Oh boy. You know, this cult is really garbage and I hate to talk about it. Let us see, trying to read the comment. Well, Alexander Great is a very famous person. Oh, when you circulated the sorry, uh, if there's any person in the world who do not know this guy, uh, come on. Especially, you know, he, he is in the heart of the Middle East. He built the city of Alexandria. So he's not only known, I mean, this guy, he built cities but with his name, wherever he go. But the funny is, how a book supposedly is the book of God contain fiction stories written by men claiming that those are true stories. I'm sure that if a person like he study legions, he will find like you remember this guy, uh, uh, the, the atheist, he speak about that the Bible have legions too. Uh, you see, the, the Bible is is a, is a book of books, which means there is there are things written uh, from God and there's things people speak about. So let us say, uh, There is, uh, a, a, in certain time, there's a story people they uh, they use, or let us say they copy from each other. And then a thousand years after, people they say, okay, this is story in the Bible written, is mentioned by other people too, who they are not the believers. But that will not change anything in the Bible, because simply, do, do we believe in the story? In the legend? Uh, are we copying it? Like, you know, you see some people, they say that the uh, story of Jesus is mentioned the same as a Krishna, but then we study Krishna, we find there's a huge difference between them. Krishna have uh, brothers, his mother, she, she's married, uh, they had sex, he's not a person born a virgin, even the Muslim, they claim that it's, it is, but when you go, you go read, you will find that it's not true. So, what sometimes people do, they try to find a way to debunk a belief. doesn't matter what it is. It can be Islam, it can be Christianity, it can be uh, Hinduism, it can be whatever. But you notice right away, there's some people, they are not honest in their claims. There's no honesty. Uh, 
just because this religion is against your belief or let's say you have problem with it you try to make a story fit with a story if you remember this uh, Jewish rabbi uh, to a singer he's a Jew it is about God not everything not every word in it is word of God so when uh, Shaul he say something this is Shaul talking when Moses he say something this is Moses talking when uh, Mary she said this is Mary talking uh, when uh, 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 the Pharaoh talk this is the Pharaoh talking we are not a bunch of fool like the Mohammedan when God talk this is God words when man talk this is man words very simple but generally speaking we say the Bible is the word of God right but is every word there God is speaking? No. In the Quran is a different story. What you see in the screen supposedly, only Allah, He is the one who wrote this book together. No rabbi, no priest, no prophets. Okay. <clears throat> Ahmed Abdul Maher. I don't know who is this guy. For me, I don't focus on, on people who they are, I don't know. For me, I focus on one stupid person. His name is Muhammad Rasulullah. The rest is not important. I can focus on a person if he was like in connection with the story of Muhammad. Uh, otherwise, people who they are may be famous for you. You see, even when we talk about Zakir Naik, I use Zakir Naik as a character of comedy. Other guy, otherwise, who is this guy? This guy doesn't even know how to say his private name correctly. Ahmad Dida do not know even how to read one verse in the Quran in Arabic. So for me, you know, when I study the cult of Muhammad, I don't waste my time to speak about others have nothing to do with Muhammad. Everything have to serve one purpose, to hit the head of the snake. Some people, they focus on the tail. I don't. Well, you know, the Bible is, Jesus, he said, that to wish to yourself what, what you wish to others, and that is, the, that is the law. See how simple it is? To wish to yourself what you wish to others, that is the law. Which means the whole book, the whole Bible is this. The whole command of God is this, to be decent and don't be evil. Wish to yourself what you wish to others and wish to others what you wish to yourself. That's all the Bible. I told you, my friend, I don't know who is this guy. I don't know who is this guy, Ahmed Abdul Maher. I have no idea. Any belief, any religion did not fix a society, there is no need for it. As simple as that. Islam never fix anything. Islam make things horrible. Wherever Islam goes, war come, bloodshed, slavery, killing, etc. What is the percentage of ex-Muslims? Are they increasing? Well, yeah, they are a lot, but you see, you see the, the problem is when somebody leaves Islam, they don't go and make videos of themselves because they will be at risk. This is very evil cult, terrorist cult. When somebody converts to Islam, the Muslim, they will make a thousand videos for him. But yes, a lot of Muslims live in Islam. We just have a, a Muslim from Jordan, he called me today. Yeah, and you know, like, you know, there's some uh, Christians, you know, without saying names, when they debate Islam, they, you know, they debate things, it's not really important. Like, uh, uh, like David Wood, he have a debate with this guy, I don't know his name, about violence and uh, who care about this violence? Focus on something very important, more than violence, because even violence can be justified. Yes, it can be justified. Me, myself, I have, I have weapon, why not? 
but I don't carry a weapon because I want to kill. I carry a weapon to defend myself. So if somebody attack me, I have to use violence. I have no choice. You know? Do I have other choice? No. If I give him a hug, he will go? No. So uh, don't waste your time and debate about things will not make any difference. People have to be smart. And usually, sadly, Christians, they choose topic have nothing to do even with, with a debate. I mean, violent in Islam. And then they start talking about Muhammad attacking. Okay, what is that will do anyway? The Muslim, he will say to you, okay, let me read for you, Moses. Let me read for you, uh, you know, etc. So what is this? You show me that I have a war in my book. I show you you have a war. What does that prove? Nothing. It's just a waste of time. So two people who they are not really uh, uh, looking for the problem we are debating about. The problem is, is Muhammad is a prophet or not? Because if Muhammad was a prophet and his God is true and he ordered him to kill all mankind, then that will not change anything except that his God is true. You know what I mean? People, are you following with me? Let us say, you don't like people to kill people, right? Okay. But if Allah is a true God, and Allah, he ordered Muhammad to kill all mankind to the last one. So we prove nothing, really. I mean, the point is, is his God is true God or not? If we accept that God will send people to hell, if we accept that God, he did uh, uh, the flood of Noah, right? But this is killing. This is killing for all mankind. So what this violence debate is about? It's a very silly debate. You need to focus on one thing. Is he a prophet or not? Because if, if he is not, then all the argument is gone if he is then all the argument will not help you to go against this person do you guys understand what i'm saying this is why when i debate muslims if i want to focus in violence i don't focus on violence as violence i focus on violence of stupidity of ethic so when muhammad says Attack the Roman and get the blondie. So Muhammad is not really attacking the Roman to spread Islam, as he claimed. He's attacking the Roman to get the blondie. So here is not the violence itself. It is the purpose of it is the problem. This guy is not really fighting for the sake of God. He's fighting for the sake of penis. And this is why I don't like how Christians debate Muslims. They first, they, they do this like five minutes for you, five minutes for me, which is useless. Because the Muslim, he will say a 100 lie. And then the Christian, he go, and usually what he do, he don't even listen to what the Muslim said. They aren't listening. This is why he don't cover what the Muslim, he just said. He just continue reading what he wrote before the debate. So debates between two individuals, one is a Christian, one is Muslim usually, is debate between two articles written a month ago. There's no real debate. 